Lynn, uh, Michael Batcher is here to talk about the maps and some of the final touches and things that we need to do to wrap it up, um, including a discussion of the energy section, discussion of the draft. Uh, Sid should be here also. He's been, he and his staff uh, have been doing the uh, editorial work on it. Um, and I think everybody, maybe yesterday at some time, got a first copy of that. So I haven't had a chance to go over it. Uh, then last will be uh, public comment, if any. Uh, so having gone over that, I would look for a motion to approve motion. tonight's agenda. We have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion or additions to tonight's agenda? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, so let's take a look at the, uh, the Tuesday, May 16 minutes, which Julie was kind enough to send out an email. So I hope everybody's had a chance to read them prior to uh, coming in tonight. If not, read fast. As everybody's ready, I'll look for a motion to approve those minutes. So move. I have second. a motion. I have a second. Any further discussion, changes, comments about the uh, Tuesday, May 16 regular meeting minutes? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We have an abstention, Henry. Uh, motion carried. Doug, you see how quickly we got to you here? Right, moving right through. Usually that part of the program takes a half an hour, 45 minutes, but we're, we're going to get Good, you. I haven't figured out what I'm going to say. So well, come on up here and you can take it. We're, we're an easy group to talk to, so come on up and just wing it. Here comes those two. Hey there. I'm here with my wife, Amy, by the way. She's, she's really the brains behind Literally behind you right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Behind you. Yeah. You speak, but yeah. You have enough. You don't have to leave. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> Come on anyway. He's a wise guy. Yeah. Yeah. Full house. <laughs> we have an overflow. All right. I just introduced our, our guest um, tonight is Doug Kuzmicki. And I'm not even sure why Doug is here, what he's going to talk to us about. So I'm curious. How can we help? Well, um, my wife and I recently purchased a property uh, adjoining uh, what used to be the Anadol Kill, which is a property that we owned for 30 years and ran uh, pretty vigorously when the track was in operation. Um, we managed to hold on to it for many years, but then Clara, who uh, lived behind us, uh, decided she was going to sell the property. And uh, for those of you who... Next to the Legion. Right next to the woods, and they consist of seven cabins. Oh, the cabins, and, and yeah, okay. And what used to be uh, a cherry 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 cherry. Cherry. Um, an old ice cream parlor, yep. and, a, and a trailer. A trailer home. And uh, well, anyway, the, the property is in uh, severe disrepair, but uh, we felt it was uh, prudent for us to purchase the property since the property that we've owned for many years. Uh, that big Victorian house, 1888, we wanted to protect our investment there. In any case, um, we began thinking about what we're going to do, and uh, we, we started to uh, put some ideas together and uh, bounce it around our friends and neighbors and whatnot, and um, I started to inquire about, uh, to the state, uh, about the potential of receiving some assistance with regard to historic preservation and things like that, because actually all the all the structures on on that combined property are nearly 100 years old. Well, the cabins are, I mean, there's like a mm -hmm. from the 1920s, wow. as well as Cherry Court, and then of course the Victorian from 1883. So one of our goals is uh, if we're gonna. Uh, to do something there would be to do something that would be uh, preserving that history. 
And so we came up with a plan, um, but one of the, the roadblocks we came with pursuing some of uh, either grants or assistance from the state was the, the town. Uh, I guess there at the town, again, this is new. We're, we were tucked up in the woods for, for many years. But, uh, we came out and realized that the town hadn't, uh, or what I thought was the town's plan, was not actually registered with the state. That's correct. Or it used to be, and then it wasn't, and whatever. So um, since it was since it was not um, registered with the state, we were able to get any assistance from the state historian or the preservation folks or uh, anybody at that level. And we're we're trying to really put together the feasibility of moving forward with the plan. So without without knowing whether that assistance is available, we're really not sure where to go. So that's one of the reasons that we're here. We're here to sort of uh, let you know that we're, we're interested in, in, in redeveloping that property, doing something that's, uh, that's, that's decent, um, and uh, to see what the status is, um, if there's anything that we can do to help Things along, or uh, if what we need to do, uh, if it doesn't move forward. Right. Well, we have good news on that front. We're at the uh, we're putting the finishing touches on the new town plan. There is a process that will probably take another 30 to 60 days of or more of uh, public hearings, uh, select board approval, um, and then regional approval and state approval and once that's done I think the important piece for you is that we can move forward on our applications for village designation which would allow you I believe some of the uh, funding you're looking for to develop that. Right. That was the secondary right. part of the plan. And that you can't get that unless there's a uh, valid town plan in place. So. Mm -hmm. so I mean, as far as that goes, uh, you know, we're close. We're not, it's not imminent. It's not going to happen in the next couple of weeks because of the process that we have to go through. But the vast majority of the plan is written. There are little finishing touches we have to put on it. Um, and, um, and then it has to go through that public uh, approval process and the select board approval, regional and, and state. And that's all about to happen. Does the current draft um, have the corner of Route 7 and 346 still within the village designation as the original one did? Yeah, I do believe. I don't know. Yeah, we, the only thing we changed was that's the That's a really rate. good question. Did Richard or Moore look at your boundaries and have any issues with that? I think he did. Yeah, he did, but I, I don't think they, he changed any of that I don't know, uh, area uh, from village to anything else. Jim, did he? Pretty, pretty much. Status quo. I yeah, mean, uh, that that corridor is protected in three absolutely three forty six corridor. That's right. And, uh, and village is appropriate there because you want a combination of well, housing yeah. and. We're talking about two different things. There's right. zoning. Oh, That's correct. As far as village the village designation. designation so you're asking is, are you within the village designation? Correct. Property? Yeah, he did. Uh, he went over that. I don't recall and, and uh, all the details of that, but okay. we'll, we'll find that out for you. Absolutely, because I'm pretty sure it starts right there and it yeah. works its way down to then the uh, industrial, where the, where the village ends, our actual zoning ends and the commercial starts. I think that he agreed with us that that would... No. I, I saw no. our secretary go up. Say, shaking her hand. And, and you can speak and up and Ms. Barsati putting her hand up. Oh, it's, it's different than <coughs> when he When we went through the tour, because Matt Mulder, we included Matt Molden, remember, and he told us to cut that out, go right. from the library up to through make to make it smaller. But yes. the corner of 346 and where his house is, is part of... Right. Will be part of that yeah. village designation. Yes. But in it's fact, much shorter. In fact, I think shorter. we promoted that as the main village in town. Right. Exactly. That area exactly. In, in the plan. But yes, his house and, that, and the cabins are in that little right. area. But it wasn't the full that we originally. Yeah, because we were going to include that for some reason. 
But I remember it did stop there. That it wound up not being included. Not that that matters to you, Doug. But your property uh, clearly is. So, so uh, one of the other one of the other things that I guess we just sort of want to throw out uh, board here is uh, even though we have some ideas and what would, we could probably do, what would be affordable to us if all all the various pieces fall into place. I mean, having been four innkeepers there on the site and that we, we plan on taking those cabins and actually combining two to make one so mm -hmm. that there's a little bit more of an upgrade than what we have now and move them. But um, we're not hard and fast on that. If we're more interested in making, I guess, we want to do something that not only could uh, make us some money, to be honest with you, now that we've purchased the property, but we don't want to do something that um, is inconsistent with what the town would like or what it needs or what the community might like. And I guess what I'm saying is we're fairly flexible. <coughs> you know, realizing that the corner is a pretty visible spot in the town. And so maybe before anything moves forward, if there are things that people have had in mind that, that might be developed, you know, maybe a spot like that, then I guess Saying we're open to, open to those suggestions. Yeah, wonderful. Is that, uh, uh, do you have it? Uh, I'd like to hear a few of your ideas. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You bet. I mean, yeah. I don't. I, you know, whether it's going to come true or not, I think it would make a real Absolutely. good discussion. To. I know that you've got ideas. And whether they're going to work out well, for you or not, I have no idea. But and nor do you probably. Well, Amy says I have too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the problem. Well, okay, but but you can, you know, I, I guess what it is is, you know, um, uh, we're looking for, for a customer. Just, yeah, yeah, customer. yeah, yeah. We're looking for tourists. Are you looking for veterans? Are you looking for people divorced and on the way well, out? And all well, the well it's interesting that you say that because yeah. uh, actually we, could, we 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 actually considered all that. One of the things that we, I mean, I looked at at the cabins more from like a structural standpoint yeah and that there's these big cabins that are about 250 square feet and these little cabins that are about 120 square feet they don't really do much by today's standards alone right my idea was to, to pick them up and to combine two cabins to make one um, around a brand new uh, bathroom with a foundation so that the smaller cabin would become a bedroom mm -hmm. and the larger cabin would okay. become a combined living room and dining room. It'd be called maybe like a micro house, mm -hmm. something like that, or a micro yeah. apartment. Mm -hmm. so they're all first floor, mm -hmm. um, and if we do it in such a way, we would move them so that the main 1888 house would have two more micro houses next to it, and the old Cherry Court would have two micro houses next to it. So we would have a cluster of three homes yeah. and three homes around the small courtyard. By doing that, it, it kind of creates a little space either um, for, uh, for renters, visitors, tourists, or it also could provide a little community space. We, we also thought about veteran homes uh, veteran housing, handicapped housing, because it's first floor. We also thought about the, the potential of um, independent living, you know, the step for assisted living, uh, mm -hmm. that that might not be a bad thing for those things. Um, we know the tourist business a little bit from, from our past, so if we, we figure if we, if we built it in that way, we, we could probably make a go of it. The other thing that that does by clustering, picking up those cabins which are spread all out, the cluster, clustering them, is opens up the middle. Um, and I've been talking to my neighbor, um, and we've been, we've been talking about the idea of maybe a farmer's market. Mm -hmm. um, it's a large space, it's probably a large space. Yeah. Yeah. an acre and a half of open space where there could be a, yeah. Greenhouse right there on site. And the old Cherry Court actually has a small retail area associated with it, where the where the ice cream bar used to be. Mm -hmm. It's about seven or eight hundred square feet, but it would make a nice retail center. Drive by, pick up your veggies, and go home kind of place. Awesome. So we're talking about that, and we're 
open eyes. We're open to eyes. Yeah. Well, I think you're on the right track. Is there a sewer out there? Oh, there's well, a lot of sewer. There's plenty of sewer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's um, there is sewer and town water. There's also two wells on the site that were previously yeah. used. It's for each well. We were in the sewer for each well. Cabinet. When they were running Shamrock. With the moving of the buildings that you're thinking about doing in whatever direction, um, you will not stand to lose your historic uh, preservation uh, grants and all that that you want to apply for. Well, this is where I hit the deadlock because mm -hmm. once I can't contacted once I contacted yeah. the state, they said we really can't help you until you get the town plan and, and, until the town plan is in place. And mm -hmm. so I just didn't want to spin my wheels of course. trying to find out. Um, my, my guess is, I did look over the paperwork, my, my guess is probably not because I would I would strive to keep the uh, facades as they are, keep the architectural elements that are salvageable like the windows as You're they are. You're trying to keep the character of these buildings mm -hmm. uh, in, 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 in place or yep. uh, and also their so so in place. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a similar intention to how they were originally created, right? Exactly. I just had a thought. Um, have you contacted the Preservation Trust of Vermont? Do you know about them? Trust. They give. This is something you could do now without needing the designation. There's a, a woman named Meg Campbell, and she's the kind of Bennington, Southern Vermont <coughs> person, and she could come and kind of give you an assessment. And they have small grants so that you can get a re really detailed bid from a contractor, you know, like they'll give you funds for that. Well, the good news <coughs> is I am a contractor. Oh, well, there you so, go. So, um, yeah. I can, I, I can probably right. get myself a really good bid. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's good to get. Due diligence says you got to get it through right. another one. So. <laughs> well, or even just, um, you know, they've got tons of, sure. she'll give you a whole <laughs> list of all the different grants available, et cetera. Well, that sounds great. Uh, I mean, so. those are the kind of things that we were hoping to be able to pursue. Right. Yeah, I, I, th I think that the single cottage is, is a thing of the past. I, you know, I, I don't think that it's, I don't think it's a workable issue anymore. Right. I, right. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. I, don't, you know, I don't want to, That's right. but, like but I think you've got yeah. an idea yeah, here, here and, 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 mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, especially if you're keeping the character of it, and I mean it's, well, what's I mean, it sounds great to me. I mean, I, 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 that that's my deal. When when you take, when you take, <laughs> when you take a chicken coop, and turn it into a cabin, or <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. you know, it just it it, it, it it makes an interesting plan. So I, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and you know, again, back to the preservation part, there there has been some adaptations to the original plan over the years. They put on these little extensions yeah. in the back. Um, those would come off, but I was even, with the way I was going to do them, uh, each cabin has one of those in the back. I'm actually going to, when I pick them up, I would take those extensions and point them forward. And that would be the way you'd get through it. So, if you almost no exterior facade that would be disrupted, that hasn't already been really just try to and then sandwich that new bathroom right in the middle yeah and this would be a year-round proposition I take it well that was yeah that would be the other thing is you know, we we would intend to try to get the best of the old by preserving the history but then the best of the new and I would really want to try to go yeah. for the energy efficiency that they have to be completely gutted on the that's inside. right there's nothing okay. salvageable on the inside except maybe the windows and some of the hardware yeah but all the rest of it has to go. So we would, you know, we would uh, try to go in with with the best and the latest and greatest. When you, uh, actually, when you're all done, you've only got the frame structure or the character of that yes, building sure. standing. Right. Basically, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the whole idea use, to make it work. Last, right? Whoa. Twenty-five years. Well, really like it's old. Yeah, seventies. Early seventies. Don Wilcox was across the street. Early Don lived in their house, didn't he? No, no, no. The Wilcox, his sister did. Jeanette. Jeanette. Jeanette lived in their house. But I mean, Don had the motel that the fire department is. 
and I don't right. really think these people are wrong. But I'll say one thing to you. You get a unit ready. Mm -hmm. well, somebody is in store all the time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sure. yeah. mm -hmm. That's got to be the best house in town. It really and truly, the largest. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, looks it really house. is beautiful. Jeanette, it's right? the most expensive house to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know a good yeah, contractor. Uh, 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 yeah. I just wanted to share this with you, too. If you're, if you're ready to bring this to a wider discussion, I don't know if you want to make a public yet, but there's a discussion on small business development. On and you're Saturday. invited. On Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I, I, she's got one. I, I did Saturday. Saturday. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you very much. Yeah, I, I, I did reach out and yeah. I was made aware of this. Um, and as part of that mm -hmm. um, discussion, too, back to the energy efficiency part of it um, with insulation and whatnot, um, I'm not sure how, but uh, I did talk to, uh, to Green Mountain Power. I mean, I, I would also like to about the heat pumps make this mm -hmm. small electric. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we'd incorporate the solar into it. Um, I have my own aesthetic issues with some of it. I do have the 10 kilowatt solar array myself uh, where I live, but um, it's, it's it's on a what would look like a lean tube. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if possible, we would like to incorporate that into the site. I have been talking about maybe the greenhouse. If we do go the greenhouse route, at uh, parts of the greenhouse that open up to vent, could be sold mm -hmm. along the ridge. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we would like to take advantage of that if it's there, if it was tasteful and done right. Yeah. Um, I think it's definitely an interesting property. That's a nice location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much, how much land? Huh? Total. Uh, I haven't done the math, but I think there's uh, maybe two and a half. Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. So, so you're talking our language with the, with the housing and uh, farmers market preservation. There's nothing in our own zoning that says that you, you shouldn't be able to do those things. There's nothing in the village designation that uh, I think could cross you up. I think you get nothing but help once we get that squared away. So good for you. Yeah. Music to our ears. Okay. Fingers are crossed. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll move as quickly as we can on our end to clear the way for you here. And then help you with that, you know. So the, the process, like you mentioned 30, 60, 90 days. <laughs> I did I did receive some. Did I say that on television? <laughs> 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 Those were firm, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking I, of my lapel. Because <laughs> I was made aware that there was a, a July 1 deadline upcoming year, which we knew was not going to happen. Um, in fact, um, Mike, is, is there a Mike here? Mike? Two. Two of them. Two, two of them. Of them. Uh, Mike, Mike Slattery Mike and Michael Slattery. Thatcher right. so from I the actually, PCRC. Okay. Uh, so I, oh, you actually name. checked into something I did? Uh, years, uh, a couple months ago, um, feeding back to um, Richard, um, Richard Amore. Oh, you said that you're working on it, basically. Richard's oh, yeah. been here to talk to us within the last year, and Julie once again drove him around Pond to look at the different areas that we would like village designation for. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just waiting to submit applications once the town plan is, is okay. So we would like to move on that as quickly as possible. I mean, literally, we're right at that point where the auditorial work is being done by Sid. There are little finishing touches and some acknowledgments that we need to do. We're going to have some discussion later tonight. That's why Michael's here. Uh, maps are drawn. It's pretty much ready to go to the public. We have to send it to surrounding municipalities first, um, the state, as I said, the regional, and then uh, warn the public to come in and uh, give them time to look at it to put it somewhere as much it's time as we're going to get to look at this Republican self plan about the same amount of time we're just going to get this thing off and vote on it immediately <laughs> fast and furious yeah. Yeah. don't start so oh. that's how that's how it works so okay. so you know that it, it, even if we had it ready tonight and and Julie sent it to the surrounding municipalities Monday that that's 30 days away from a, from a, a public hearing anyway right there so, you know, if, uh, this is the, you know, the 
20th. Uh, if we can, by July 1st, get to that stage, possibly. And if I'm talking out of turn here, Michael, if you're going, you what are you guys kidding me? Right. I'm just the helper here. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in a very, very smug way. Be, <laughs> the town plan has to be completed before <laughs> we can apply for the village stuff. designation. Yes, Fair with my understanding. Okay. Right. And okay. that's yeah. what Doug was told. Right. That's what Doug was told. Okay. And then, yeah. so, so, so once the town plan goes up, then there's the secondary. Well, well, our we we warn the public, and they come in and they scrutinize it and ask us to make changes if necessary. And once we do that or not do that, we send it to the select board, and the select board goes basically through that same process within or not. They have, I believe, 30 days then to warn the public. Um, the public can has a second round at it, and so does so does the select board. And then if they ask for changes, it comes back to us. We can then make the changes, and then. Uh, and then have a uh, have a vote among ourselves uh, to put it in a. In a is the next around. village designation not available until next July first, or is there a second? I don't. Maybe. No. no? Okay. No, I think they meet. Okay, so there's a board or something, mm -hmm. some body of mm -hmm. people right, that right. get together and review the village app designation well, application periodic. I think it's a quarterly. Yes. Right. Don't. Don't, don't, uh, we're talking don't about stuff. I think we're talking about just like once a year. I was talking about the, uh, the application for tax credits to okay. the July. Right, yeah, okay. that different than just the designation yeah, part yeah, of it. One thing I can tell you is that, that once this is wrapped up, that that's next on our agenda. So Richard Amore is going to be back down here, chances are, to be walking us through this again. Um, so, you know, that'd be a good time for you to get involved in, okay. in that part of it. We'll let you know that. Another meeting next month? Next month I don't know. Probably not. We're probably still going to be wrestling with the town plan at that point. Uh, if we're not, though, I'll, I'll give you a call or, I'll, or Julie will give you a call and we'll let you know. But, but that's, uh, we have to have that complete approval before we even get Richard involved again and submit. We know we have the paperwork, the applications, we have all of that. Julie's got all her photographs and maps and everything yeah. done. Just a question of getting a town plan in place and then right. moving forward. Yeah, so, so from my end, once that is once that happens, I can open up the conversation yeah, with, exactly. the state, with the state historian and whatnot. And I'm a little hesitant to do anything, although I'm, 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 I'm poised to possibly begin, but I, I don't want to... Or to hold back now. I don't want to do that yeah. uh, and do something <laughs> that you. is not recoverable. Yeah. And I did come across some language there that if like, we do certain things that we're not going to go back and consider that. So you spoke with Richard directly? No, I spoke with a woman by the name of Caitlin Corkins um, okay. several times. And then she re reached out to Richard. Are you talking about Richard Amore? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So she reached out to him, and then he, I guess, contacted you. That makes sense. I have a yeah, email, email thread. How things are going. Yeah, and so there was. Uh, well, okay. I guess maybe their hands are tied, but couldn't they give you some off the record? Look, Pondell's going to have village designation or designations, and when they do, you'll be able to do this. I maybe, maybe I'm speaking out of turn, but I, I would like to think that somebody in the state. Could give you some preliminary guidance on this, especially since it's not just an idea and a, Bill, and a wish no, list. Bill's so. <laughs> been down. You're it's really knocking on their door with, with, you know, with all the energy of wanting to do something. Yeah, that's right. And that's very different, or it could be very different. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say it is. So, well, I appreciate uh, yeah. letting us uh, sit hey. on this and sure. good luck. Was, uh, yeah, that, very exciting. Hope so. Um, and if we do think of anything else, uh, you know, like a five-story hotel or something. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Well, yeah. And if you know anybody that can pay right. for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> we know a lot of developers. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> but no, and I am sincere about that. If sure. We, uh, you know, more so want to make sure yeah. that something um, not bad. Is done there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Does that make sense? I agree. Yeah, um, not bad is yeah, good. Yeah. I think yeah. this empower <laughs> panel is very timely for you as well. Not bad. Yeah, we got bad. That, that kind of comes easy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a list of things we don't want to see there? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would help. That would help <laughs> no, no, no. 
getting in trouble. Okay. Well, thanks again, everybody. Yeah, absolutely, Doug. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're back. Thank you. All right. Maybe we're going to leave you. Okay. Yeah. Good yeah. luck. It's pretty. Ex I guess pretty exciting after this if you want to stay. So. It's <laughs> <laughs> better. It's better. Yeah. Thanks again. We'll see you guys. I have to ask if Doug's on Main Street is another venture. Uh, no, no, but uh, when when he when I went in there for a beer and he found out we had the same name, he you know, yeah, you're well, sure? gonna be aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Hi. Julie, is there a remote for the EC or? It's over in the far corner on the top of the filing cabinet. It's a remote control. Okay. So hey, you, you want to you want to turn it up, right? Turn. You want to sit on this side? Or still coming. Still coming back. We can open the window, too, you know. Oh, okay. It was yeah. hot in here when I started, yeah, I and I didn't know how many people were coming. Did you find it? I think it's a little creepy. Yeah. 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 You know, right. I mean, that me out. This, this, this guy got a green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm usually and I got the green. Well, they're good or bad. I mean, he's got a green. So I, you know. I go for that. All right. Let's get back. Let's get back on track. Item number four is a review of the mail. BCRC workshop for local officials, essentials of land use planning and regulations, Wednesday, June 28th, in East Arlington. I'm going to pass it around too because I'm going to that. I okay. can't talk about <coughs> Excuse me. Excellent. Then I have the VLCT. Well, how do you kill that? You hit the stop button. Huh? That's a lot. You hit the stop button up there. Isn't there a button? It's going to get hot in a second. So I'm trying I'll, to I'll open this. I'll open this window. That's the window next to Henry's open. Yeah, it seems to be. No, it's the cold air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's That's the cold the air. air <laughs> okay. I, this is the old-fashioned way of doing it. It's under time, I know. He's given a shock. He's a cold fashion. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. What can I say? Put it on a lot of energy conservation. It's the legislature. Oh, that's nice. We got a good seat. We will deny it. Now we can hear. Now we can hear. Absolutely right. Yeah, I know it is. There's a pretty good breeze outside. This will be funny for a lot of people. Clarksburg Zoning Board of Appeals notice. Can I interrupt you for a second? For those of us that may not have been paying attention while Julie was talking. This is the Vermont League of uh, Cities and Towns, their legislative wrap-up. No, uh, I'll pass that around. Got one from Bill Botso today, too. Got yeah. a nice wrap-up. Yeah. Yeah, very well done. They, uh, it was uh, quite a year up there. <laughs> Town of Clarksburg. Clarksburg Zoning. zoning. Yes, it's a notice. They were doing holding a public hearing and a site visit on June 27th at the Ketchum Memorial Meeting Room Hall Hall at 6 p.m. Four. Board of Appeals notice. There's a Massachusetts yeah. statute no, that says you have that to the send city towns have to send notice to their abutting towns. Yeah. Now, I don't know why we're we get one from Clarksburg. Because we abut Clarksburg. Do we? Yes, yeah. we do. Little chunk there. When, we okay. say, when we send notices out, I yes. have to send it to Clarksburg, Absolutely. Stanford. So this is a particular... Uh, we're um, abutters. ...interested in the petition of Dennis Bernardi of 218 Bradley Street, North Dennis, Mass, requested a variance from Section 5, subsection of uh, uh, revised zoning bylaws on the Clarksburg for debate. He, he's not meeting the setbacks, and he wants a variance on that. So, anybody interested in going well, on that? Going to Clarksburg. Going get to on Clarksburg your horse. To, if, you want, <laughs> if you want to get there and support uh, Mr. Bernardi or the town, here's your chance. Okay. okay. And I have the wastewater system and potable water supply permit for Verdmont Outing Club, 230 Thompson Pond Road. A particular site on Vermont, or I guess that all blends together, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, 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 uh, of a proposed replacement water system. Mm -hmm. 
wastewater system, which will include an innovative alternative IA system component and biroseptic pipe leaching system is manufactured by. So that's to serve those single those single family homes up on the hill. Up there. Within the yeah, within the Vermont club. Dr. Fitzgerald. All of those, yeah. yeah. Margaret or Margaret Comar's daughter is up there now. And no, bucks. Margaret's up there now. I don't understand big bucks. It's big bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know some people who own some money. what they want they to do. do. Oh, that. Yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So they want everybody to chip in and pay for that. Okay. All right. And I have the LCT 50 Years of News. It's the June edition. Yeah. You, think you don't want to see that. You don't want to come through it. Kind of letting things slide right by you here, I know. <coughs> old age. If I email it. It's one of the privileges. There's another hot one for you, Ron. Then this one. These are three emails that have been forwarded from the selectmen to the planning commission. One letter is from Michelle Beckrell. One is from Rebecca Dragon. And a letter from Melissa Kyle, no, sorry, not Melissa, Donna Lozon. This all has to do with the climate control model. I must to do with Shannon's type thing. Shannon's, Shannon's deal. Shannon's <laughs> deal. Yeah, yeah, you really yeah, own that. Yeah. So, yeah. Her. These Bill, Bill Botso <laughs> volunteered. <laughs> Shannon's has done a lot of work on this. <laughs> yes. So, uh -oh. these are letters that they're very. Under the gun. That this one from Michelle. I mean, I can read them all, but pretty much, basically, they could sound from like the process of how grants are done, how they make sure that public notice, and um, so Oops. I would make a suggestion that we make time to discuss that for future. Put it on the next agenda and get us copies of all those emails. Because they're not happy with mm -hmm. the process and mm -hmm. that well, the public's not aware. But in, they have every right. Wait, I'm just, I just, I'm just, I'm just, just And sure because they, they went to the selectmen and they didn't do anything about it. So they pat, so those letters were passed on to us. They're not very happy. <clears throat> Is part of it to do with the, um, Citing and all of that, or is this just notification? Well, I think they're meeting? three separate, three separate completely issues. separate letters. I haven't read all three. I've okay. read Rebecca Dragon's letter, and her yeah. issue, because she forwarded it to me, was that she had gone to the BCRC regional right. energy plan meeting and had some concerns about that that she brought up to the to the select board. Um, and Michael, I think you read that email as well, yeah, didn't you? Right, yeah. and that mm -hmm. had more to do with. Um, Conflicts between the regional and the municipalities, right? In like de in deference to a 248 hearing, like in her opinion, a uh, potential conflict that could right. happen if, if for example, BCRC, the regional energy plan, uh, wanted to do something and Pownell didn't, and so according she to was their map. right, or according to a development, for example, and so. That's not doesn't have anything to do with empower panel. No, not at so all. So I I what I suggested to her was that she talk to Jim Sullivan at the BCRC and uh, talk to him about any concerns and then also to come to a planning commission meeting and to exactly. let us know more about it because actually she knows more than I do about that yeah, issue. Yeah, listen, I thought it was well written. Um, um, yeah. I thought she had some good points. Maybe there, I I, I did print off Michael at your recommendation the uh, and, and actually read it the guidance for municipal enhanced energy planning standards which is the, mm -hmm. the link that you gave us it was kind of general but it did talk about it didn't talk about potential conflicts between a, 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 a regional commission and a planning mm -hmm. commission or a town a municipality and a mm -hmm. regional plan but it did I thought her points were well taken mm -hmm. on because there is mapping and we've seen that mapping, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the BCRC looks at and identifies potential sites mm -hmm. and then we come along with our town plan and say we don't want it anywhere in there. 
-hmm. And there could be a conflict. So if, if both of you have a good point, you can both receive substantial deference at a 248 hearing. Uh, the problem is who wins? Is a, you know, mm -hmm. um, just a, and and is there in fact a conflict there, or in her words, who does is the dog is the tail wagging the dog? Does the mm -hmm. regional court uh, get to call the shots on that? And we're just mm -hmm. down here saying, okay, whatever. So, Mr. Botsa. Um, I don't know if I circulated it to any of you, mm -hmm. but there is statutory language that basically mm -hmm. says that the municipal plan prevails unless it is part of a mm -hmm. larger statewide agreement. So think about it. That would mean that if it were something like uh, one of the big power lines that run through town that's needed yeah. to charge, you know, the grid, right? You know, then the CPG process. You know would prevail, but they would look at the municipal plan, as I understand it. You know, basically, you know, first, then have to make a determination as to whether or not it was critical, okay, and could not be removed. If you removed it, but that's at the, a state level. Would the regional right. system fail? Okay, mm -hmm. would be the way you would look at it. So I mean, there, <coughs> that so makes perfect sense. I think sense. it is a lot clearer. I think a good lawyer could argue this, that, the next step. Sure. But the whole point is simply is that it is an interconnected system, and you couldn't turn it around and have one town, you know, hold back other towns. Right, right, right. That's the basic theory of it. Mm -hmm. I think she I've, was looking I've reached more out to our lawyer, and I've also reached out to June Tierney, and she said she would get back in case she had any comments on it too. Yeah, she was looking, I think, more at the commercial uh, wind endeavors and. Projects. What are you talking about as you say she? Which one? Uh, Re Rebecca. But, uh, that's n but that's not just their only concern. It does It's not. No, because they want to know the process. Even at the state level, we still have say, the Planning Commission has say in what they're doing. That's their Once point. Once we have a town plan, right. we do. It le no, it, no. Any, you don't have to have just a town plan to have say. When we get letters for the cell towers or the solar fields, we get a letter saying that this is what they're going to do. Does the planning commission have any concerns or comments? We at least have a time period. I, I think it's That's great. what they're at. That's what these guys want. They want to know the process. Do you have a hearing type thing? A letter comes down. They need to know the process. Like as in everybody else in the whole entire town, not just certain people. Put it, put it on the agenda. Well, that's what I'm saying, but it. you keep saying just, oh, because you're referring to the maps. Well, that's not just the maps that they have issue with. Mm -hmm. It's the whole process. They want to know the whole process versus, mm -hmm. I was pissed when Shannon went and did the grant because we didn't know she was doing it. Mm -hmm. She went and did it. She went to the select board. She didn't ever said anything to the planning commission. Thus, that's why I got yucky. However, mm -hmm. there's still but, finish, a, but there's still a process. Then that. that's what I'm saying. But everybody in the whole town needs to know, and you can't tell everybody because not everybody's going to get the information. Correct. However, they still have a say in it because it is our town. Mm -hmm. That's their point. Of course, they they want to know the process. Is there a certain so many days to do? Like we have a process for the town plan. Mm -hmm. That's what their letters basically is complaining about right. sure. that you just did it you're fast moving it you're not going at and i know things move gradually <laughs> however fast moving it? Did you, you still it? need to do the process and let it's people know walking. well let me let me explain <laughs> but, something okay, wait, about, wait. No, wait, about no, let's why let her finish because okay. i want to hear a little bit more so, okay thus we need to do something at least so that they know that we're gonna set aside that we're gonna talk about the process of how a grant Put it on the next works. agenda, invite them to the meeting, glad to discuss it with them. Mm -hmm. And I have also invited them to the meeting. A couple that's, of times. Yeah. And I just want to say that one of the things that's been confusing is all these posts that are online that have right. convoluted and confused people about the BCRC maps and Empower Panel, which is completely separate. Right. And I think that that's caused a lot of confusion, and it's sort of stirred up a hornet's, hornet's nest on Facebook. Well, and it has with a lot of people, but I also know that um, when, when somebody 
shall we say, takes the ball and runs with it without everybody knowing about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel Julie's pain because I walked in this office and mm -hmm. I looked at Julie and I said, what's going on? Nobody ever brought anything to me. What, you know, I'll be honest yeah. with you. I said, we give Shannon the right to do this without asking you well, know, for a vote or something like well, that. Well, here's what happened. So, and, and I'm not going to, I yeah. don't think this is the, it's not on the agenda for a mm -hmm. big discussion or anything like that. But I see where these people are coming from because sometimes I feel the same way and I'm part of the board. So. Mm -hmm. anyway. Sometimes. That one time. Sometimes. I said sometimes. I didn't okay. say all the time. Okay. Go well, ahead, Shannon. And I, and I hear what you're saying, that it did seem really fast. And I think the reason that it seemed fast is because Deadline. basically, well, basically I got an email and it said, hey, this is from one of my neighbors. And it said, hey, look at this program. This seems really related to the planning commission. We had already had our planning commission meeting. And so we didn't have another meeting for a month. There was a two. There was less than two weeks, and so I I emailed Mike and I said, "This seems to make a lot of sense for um, an emergency meeting or get a hold of people via we face we could." Email, but here's the, here's whatever, the thing so. too, though. I, then I brought it to the select board, and they got behind it. And I think I really didn't think this would be controversial because this is not grant money. This is a community discussion. That's correct. That's your Absolutely, just like my opinion. But, so it's, but I, it isn't I, any money. I certainly, you know, it's I not, get it. It's not about the money. It's the process. That's right. So, yeah. so she <laughs> did, yeah. with a time constraint, um, go to the select board. Um, I got to get I, on the planning commission. I, 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 I went, that's right. That's right. They should volunteer and get on these various commissions, and uh, that's what they should do to understand the process better. Mm -hmm. um, there was a time constraint. The legislative body was clearly behind it. Shannon could have moved ahead with it as a citizen of Pannell, um not a planning commission member. Mm -hmm. But, but it know. still advertises she's a planning member. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. You, did you, you do that under the, the auspices of the commission or as a person in town? I just did it as a person. Right, no, and you yeah. happen to incidentally be on the planning commission. You right. can work at Joe's Bar as well. Which is the application they ask you that. You mm -hmm. sit on any commissions or anything, so. Right. So, uh, you know, listen. But I also. Uh, I understand everybody's concern. We'll be careful about that in the future. We do have procedures that we need to follow. We've seen in the past when people haven't followed them mm -hmm. uh, and some serious issues. Mm -hmm. This one I think is very good for Paul, and uh, I frankly am glad you did it. Um, could we have done it a little bit different? Sure. You know, mm -hmm. um, but we're well ahead with it. This is a terrific mm -hmm. thing. And I hope you all go on, on Saturday. There's some good stuff there. And I, I do want to also reiterate, because I think this is confusing, is that there is no, although the, the, the select board supported it because we had already had a community visit from Vermont Council on Rural Development 11 years 11 ago. 11 years ago. That's and so it, it, it was something that many on the select board had seen before and been part of. So and so it, it isn't, it's a discussion. And the whole idea yeah, is to get more people involved. It's not... There's not any uh, development money. There's no Just agenda the, there other than a discussion and bringing these and and all of the things that are within this are actually in the town plan. So what I did when I put it together is I just I didn't write anything. I edited and I just took pieces of the town plan and just put it in and really didn't know if we would get it. It was like, well, let's try it. I mean, you know, this makes a lot of sense to. Well, then really, you were part of the steering committee to get this thing going more than anything. Right. You know, I, and now you have a choice as to how far you want to take it, how much, how. It's all volunteer led. I mean, the entire thing is and, would have to be volunteer led, so it, it has to be people showing up and, and wanting to. And take since that part. select board meeting, there are now 20 volunteers involved, mm -hmm. or 30 in this mm -hmm. thing. So. Right. Okay. Um, Invite them to a meeting, have them come in. Most of their concerns are to the select board, but we'll be happy to talk to them about our procedures for the future. Um, Basically, they're up. asking, they want to know how uh, town government uh, works. Yeah, well, I mean, and there's it's one a that worthwhile thing. They asked how grants could be applied for and what mm -hmm. are the deadlines for it, and they're saying the select board didn't respond to them, so they're upset at that. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is the actual email that I was talking about with mm -hmm. Rebecca, where she did, she was questioning who would get the deference, you know, uh, if it was a uh, conflict of interest with the BCRC, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, 
she wanted to make sure that uh, um, a regional group of, pardon me, Michael, of unelected officials couldn't come in and tell a town municipality elected officials what to do. Bill has just, uh, I think, shed light on that, that there are some state, there is wording to that effect that says, um, unless it's an emergency or for the greater good of the entire state, um, it's along that lines. Yeah, okay. The one thing I'd like to add is Julie is absolutely right, is the town does have a say, but by going through this process, it is how is that say weighted? Well, substantially less deference yeah. is my point. You get the higher yeah. standard if you've gone through that's, this process. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. yeah. So you're both right. We're both right. I've never seen such an impassioned presentation by Julie. By Julie. Pretty good. Yeah, it's it's right. Thank you. Okay. We good? Is that in on the mail? You gotta stand for something, Stage, or you stand for nothing. That's right. I hope she's doing a great <laughs> Hang job. together or hang separately? Whichever. Doesn't yeah. matter. You gotta stand for something. All right. <clears throat> so let's talk about Empower Pono. But I don't um, have any more mail. That, that's mm -hmm. next. I'm sorry, you do have more? No, I said I don't have oh, okay. any more mail. Then let's uh let's talk a little bit about this coming Saturday and what Empower Pano is. And All right. Well, All right. I think everybody, hopefully most of you already got a mailing. And, uh, you know, this is a new program from the Vermont Council on Rural Development, so it's really similar to the other community visits that they've done. But there is the energy efficiency piece because they're partnering with Efficiency Vermont. And so just to make it clear that there's no, uh, you know, big development behind it. It's really about energy efficiency because that's I mean a, a lot of people can't afford solar panels or but you know everybody can think about uh, home energy efficiency and there's a lot of programs out there and I think it's a good way to get outreach you know to people in the community so um, so that's one piece of it but I think the way they're looking at this idea of the climate economy model is thinking about what is it about Vermont that's going to attract people to come here, you know, and including young families and new businesses and businesses that we want and to keep Pownell beautiful and to keep it a country town. Nobody wants to change it. Um, and so that's why small business development is part of it. Uh, recreation trails, health and wellness and local agriculture and forestry, because those are all things that are really important to Pownell. And, um, Getting around panel and connecting to other communities really, I think, is sort of both transportation and making more transportation available to people who don't have cars, um, whether it's more bus routes or ride sharing. Um, residential renewable energy is, that's really the only piece I think that could address solar panels is if people want them on their own house, um, you know. And then local grid resilience has more to do with Okay, we know the power goes out a lot, so when it does, if we're gonna have the year of Green Mountain Power, can we back up the grid that we have here? You know, and if panel is making more of its own power, is there a way to have some sort of a backup? Um, so I don't know much about that, but I know that Jim Sullivan will be there and others. And uh, I know that they've had, I just got the list from John and there's going to be somebody from UVM Extension talking about <coughs> agriculture and uh, energy uh, efficiency. Vermont has two representatives. Efficiency Vermont is going to be there. Um, the um, Secretary of uh, Commerce and Community Development is coming in, yeah. and the Vermont Community Foundation. Um, really, if you have questions, this is the thing. To that's the, right. yeah, well, that's what this is for. Uh, 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 it just this. happens in yeah. Afterwards, this is our first town. Afterwards, mm -hmm. they're going to Manchester. And then on that trip, this, mm -hmm. this is little a, these folks have been doing this for years. It's an act. Yeah. And they just dust off the cover and put a new, <laughs> now, pond with the electricity mm -hmm. down at the dam, mm -hmm. with the racetrack thing. We look like we're in front of the game in the state. So mm -hmm. they picked us to come down here very innocently. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, though, the worst thing we did when we said, let's name this thing, and we said, Empower Pond, so mm -hmm. power again. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have Pond's mm -hmm. going to be loaded with wind turbines <laughs> and guns. You, th right. you think that's what people are? Wow, thinking? I've heard it. So please. literal. Yeah. 
Oh, come on. It's on the street. There's other kinds of power. So, so let me, let, can I just read the list? Um, Ted Brady, Deputy, uh, Deputy Secretary, Vermont Agency of Commerce and Community Development mm -hmm. is coming. Of course, John Cooper will be here. It's ben Doyle, Community word, Development yeah. Specialist. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Stephanie Lane, Executive Director, Shires Housing. Jeff Maney, Efficiency Vermont. Paul Markowitz, Markowitz Efficiency Vermont. Elizabeth Marks. Philanthropic Advisor, Vermont Community Foundation, uh, Bima Nida. Did I? How did I do with that? Mm -hmm. uh, power yeah. Guru, Power mm -hmm. Guru. Mm -hmm. See, she can't use that word. Power. Haley Pirro, Outreach Representative, Office of Senator Bernie Sanders. Dottie mm -hmm. Schnur, Senior Energy Advisor, Green Mountain Power. Gus Selig, Executive Director, Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. Mr. Jim Sullivan himself will be there. Uh, Dane Whitman, Kilpatrick Fellow for Building and Grounds from Bennington College. Lee Ling Young, Efficiency Vermont, once again. Good people. And then, of course, John, uh, John, oh, John Coppins is different than Jonathan Cooper. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Jonathan Cooper is Community and Economic Development Specialist, Bennington Regional Planning Commission. We met John here. Yeah, he's the ago. guy that came here. Yeah. Um, so, pretty good lineup for yeah. these forums. A but lot I, of good information. I do think that um, the forums, I remember this from the last meeting, it's really more about, especially this first meeting, is about sharing our ideas for panels. So people who live in town are doing more of the talking, and then these guests are there for questions. Mm -hmm. They come back to us later when we sort of narrow down and our I think ideas. To, and I think also to create the record. I think they put together the mm -hmm. record of proceedings. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. They write up a report. I mean, what, that's what we're getting out of it, is we're getting someone who's helping us organize an event, create a, a document of that, mm -hmm. and to really get our ideas down on paper. It's sort of a community planning process. So to me, that made sense, you know, the more that I learned about the planning commission and what the town plan was. I thought, hey, this is a good way to get more people to thinking about panel and Eight, eight and to ten of you sit around the table and, and just talk. Mm -hmm. And then my down big step in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. That's the whole. That's it's so, the it's whole so weird. It doesn't sound dysfunctional. It was one of the better turnouts <laughs> we've had in it really the last was. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> Astonishing number of people. It was good. Yeah. It was good. It was yeah, but other people are concerned that you're just going to vote on. Right. This is what you're going to do, and that's a concern of a lot of people by breaking in your little groups because a lot of people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. But they were when they go there. Well, some of those yeah, people were some, at the initial meeting. Right, but mm -hmm. some of them, all the elderlies and all them, mm -hmm. hadn't gone there. Well, they need to come mm -hmm. Saturday and figure it out. Well, a lot of them can't. A lot of right, them have that's my point. There, but they're they're, they're, they're afraid that, that they're, they're going to oh. vote on stuff that they have no say in. They're old they think it's just a group people. of people that who are there are going to vote that, oh, we can have a win thing. You gotta remember, Pownall's not. You don't change. We haven't changed in a hundred years. And, and a lot it's, of these older people don't want change. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta gradually, but they're, that's what a lot of them are I mean, afraid. I, I, I'm, in a, I'm in that boat at, to some respect myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is my home, and I was born and raised here. And to have people come into this town and tell me how I've got to change because they moved here and they want to change it, where I've been here all my life like a lot of other people, and we don't want it to change, it, it, it's hard. It's hard for people, and when you get, the older you get, and it, that's what it is in these towns, and then these older people get the younger people, and, and like I said, uh, Facebook the last couple of weeks has just been bam bombarded with, mm -hmm. with this. That's yeah. why I'm so yeah. glad I'm not Old on people it. are on yeah. Facebook? So. They're on Facebook. Well, <laughs> well, <there's 85 laughs> years Excuse old me for one second to keep Facebook. this on track. Michael has uh, a comment. I think I think you're I would be concerned too. I think your, your concerns are totally valid. I think one way to think about this is that for small communities so there's so much change that's happening from outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for instance if Ford decides that they're only going to sell electric cars. You don't have a choice. You're going to buy from <coughs> Ford. And so what I think this is about is to help communities adapt to the kinds of changes that are coming for, as a result of changes in how we're going to have to deal with energy. 
Because right. if you're not, if, and, and otherwise it's very scary to not be prepared for that kind of stuff. So, so you're, you're, the concerns, I, I think the concerns are totally valid, but the one thing, way to think about it is what do you do with the stuff that's flying at you anyway? And how does like, a small town like mm -hmm, exactly. Pound yeah. and Bennington and, mm -hmm. and Sunderland and all those exactly. communities, so yeah. you're kind of the first to have a pr process yeah. to say, okay, how are we going to how are we going to really And no this? one because is going to make us change anything. It will be mm -hmm. up to us as to what we want to change and what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And that is very clear. Great information coming in. We don't have to do a thing with it. No. We've had one good experience, biomass. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got new kids on the block in this. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. We've been around. We've been around. Well, and I, I think it's clear that that just where the people are coming. Sure, from. understood. Yeah, I hear that. Well, let's get them. In, let's yeah. Yeah. But however we can get them involved. I mean, I don't like That's Facebook for those yeah. reasons. It takes on a life form well, no, all in its own. Yeah, they hear things through the grapevine and like that, and mm -hmm. so and then um, and, and they don't. Read my you know, A lot of them can't get out. Some mm -hmm. of them that can not won't because they've already got their mindset and like that. So it's just. All More I'm than anything, this shows that this town needs a town, an authoritative town website. That's right. With However, yeah. there is mm -hmm. somebody coming tomorrow morning. There is mm -hmm. a new, really? there is a That's new right. lady mad. that is, and I cannot re remember You're her name, shocked. I'm sorry. Shocked to the she's, she's coming in tomorrow to speak with each one of us for departments. Excellent. To do the website. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So we do wow. have somebody good, new. Good, good. I honestly don't remember her name. Yeah. <laughs> However, <laughs> I, I think too. so, but there, okay. so, there is that. <coughs> you know, so, we talk. You know, we talk about uh, change and how things have changed. Well, you take panels just with the solar mm -hmm. uh, panels that have been put up. I mean, we're we're moving in a change, but um, what what we really, uh, you know, when I when I look at that. That is a change that, um, um, you know, it's uh, one of those things that you can't put the brake on or you, you, you follow, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you, we may be able to, it's down. growth. It's growth. And, okay. <coughs> but, and, and, uh, and when we talk about our <coughs> concerns about small towns and change, and change is happening. Well, one of the changes that we uh, really want to watch out for is uh, what we do have that we aren't going to lose the little bit that we have left. Because, you know, we talk about small business. That was one of the I issues that's going to be brought up on small business. Well, uh, let you know, just throw that out, small business. Um, uh, how, you, how would you, how would you, how would you uh, address small business? This fellow here was trying to mm -hmm. ask some questions about it. I mean, it's everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. What do you, what, tell me he what you're getting small at. Business. Well, well, well what I'm trying business. to get at is, is so how would we on. bring small business into Pownall? Or how, mm -hmm. how, oh, how do we attract it? Yeah. How do we attract it? How do we right. get it here? How, how, I mean, um, mm -hmm. or, or if you do have a small business here, how, how just keep it. Mm -hmm. I mean, never mind mm -hmm. bringing some. I mean, the only thing we've ever had <laughs> happen here in the last 25, 30 years is one more after the other has left. Am I correct or not? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean that, that's a fact. Um, well, so Henry, I, I will tell you that um, over the last several years, uh, we've tried very hard to address <coughs> all of this in our town plan. And, uh, and, I, and it I, is a difficult proposition sure. at best. Uh, so, but it is uppermost in our minds oh. as to how to do that given uh, the limitations that we have yeah. geographically, whatever, right. to move right. a little bit away. I think we're resigned to being that bedroom community that has a bunch of little, small businesses. We like a little bit bigger, but mm -hmm. we're working as hard as we can, and that's well, why well, we, have we have to get back on this town plan right, discussion. Right. But, but anyway, it, but I think, that, I think yeah. you're absolutely right, and I think that people over, the, <coughs> when, when I said the 25, 30 years, I think everyone that has that on any of these committees has put that on the top of the list and have not been able to. Well, okay. <laughs> you're going you're to see our discussion here with Michael tonight. We're going to yep. get back to that in one second. It is going to be the follow-up once this town plan um, 
You know, these things are words in the air if there's no follow-up to them, That's right? That's correct. If we don't get an energy coordinator, if we don't get all of these things in place, if we don't change bylaws to make it better for small businesses, that's a critical part of it, and I really need everybody's help in that on the next step. Um, the village designation is a big part of it. But before we move on to uh, the town plan, I want to commend Shannon for the work that you've done on this thing. I think it's really cool. If I got you in trouble, I take full responsibility. <laughs> you called me with not much time left. I said, go for it. I would do the same thing again, sorry, um, because this is good for Palmer. Thanks. So. And one last thing, just Julie reminded me, we didn't say what time it starts. So it's at the Legion. Thank you to the Legion for, for offering the space. And uh, thank you to Winchester's for providing sandwiches. And thank you to Friends of Palmo, <coughs> which is gonna donate uh, funds for the lunch. Thank you to Stewart's that's gonna have uh, cookies. And Peter Hopkins is organizing pies, so there's going to be oh, good eats. I thought Peter was going to bring beer. Somebody mm -hmm. should organize well, rides nice for too. the old people mm -hmm. who can't get out. Mm -hmm. That would Simmons be great. If, if I'm Give them a ride down there. Mm -hmm. I know. expect you to pick up <laughs> six or eight old people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to move on. Um, Michael's been kind enough oh, to sit okay. and suffer okay. through this okay. once again. I'm sorry to oh, take too more? much more time. Bill reminded oh, me of another important thing. So the lunch starts around 11 30 the forums start at 1 and go to 5 15 but bill reminded me that there is no voting that happens at this first meeting this is a big open discussion then kind of a big brainstorming on these topics then the next meeting will be late in july in the evening probably a weeknight we're yeah, looking we're around the july 25th we're hoping for that date so we have to confirm that with the legion though um, and that will be the date of voting. So nothing will be voted on at this point. It's a discussion. Information, exchange of ideas, right. broad. And There's it's a great way, thing. speaking of small businesses, I just met the couple who's living where Mighty Food Farm used to be today. Because yeah. I know they're renting, so they didn't get, not everybody who rented got a uh, mailing. We tried to get it to the grand list and get it to everybody in the schools, but some people probably missed it. So I took a flyer over to them and just le learned about what they're doing. And I said, great, you know, this is a chance to come to the meeting, tell everybody what you're doing and, and say, come <coughs> to my farm and you can buy these things, you know, because they haven't gotten a website up yet or anything like that. So I think it'll be a, a great chance for that, too. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Good work. Okay. Town plan. Do you, do you have any opening remarks about our town plan or do you want us to? Nope. You want to know Thanks where sure we you. are with this town plan? <laughs> is that it? Well, Sid has done a great yeah. job taking this stuff. So I put it all together in one document. Did you add in what? I haven't done anything since since <coughs> you sent. But then I said somebody else. I did not else, put in. I did not put in your vision. But no, it's in here. Okay. It's not my vision. I actually it's not your Sid. So my vision isn't very good. But um, <laughs> no, geez, here we go. <laughs> but no. So well, basically what I did, and you guys can, that whole thing you can do whatever you want, but I just thought that you needed something that basically said, here's our, here's the big picture as opposed to, you. so you don't have to read 80 just pages to figure out what the big picture is. So I try to translate what I've been hearing from you okay. into the big picture. Fair Whether enough. you put that in there or not is up to you, but, but it, is, it is in the draft. So basically where I was starting is I gave you a, a draft that it included in all of the sections and then said, has gone through and edited because it definitely needed a better set of eyes than me. Yeah. Because and we got I, that yesterday. I'm a terrible editor and I'm not good at yeah. edit. editing, really especially it. stuff yeah. I've written. Um, and then <laughs> I've also I sent you maps. Right. Um, and that are described in the text. I sent you a one of the sections we like to have in a plan is how this complies with various statutes. So there's a brief statement in each of the state goals um which in Sorry. a sense is a little bit redundant because we actually put the state goals in the, in the sure. plan in the document and then uh an implementation table which is pulled all the actions together in one place and then the question is who's going to do them which i'm leaving up to you all that's our deal yeah so that's, yeah it's not for you now the only other thing design. about yeah. maps is we had talked about making some changes to the maps back in and we we're at a meeting in January, and then I well, we had a, we did make changes in that. Okay, I've never seen anything. 
I thought we sent you notification no. that we changed them. No, because we just approved them. Oh. Julie's okay. going to tell you about it tonight. Okay. Do you, no, I mean, did you mark them up? Because if you want me to we did. change yeah. them, I need to have something I can work with. No, they're lying to you. We did not mark <laughs> them up. Yeah, I, I knew they were, but I, they're just I didn't noted want to say on TV. They're noted in our them. minutes. We did write sticky notes on them. At our, at our but meeting. they're in our minutes, our last right. two minutes. Didn't we meeting. review them at the library? Yeah. yeah. And yes. then we voted on it here. And then we, we voted, voted, voted on, on the, the two changes, right. two areas, I believe. So Yes, if you read your minutes, it's in your minutes. Be clear enough that I can, I, could take, I can, through GIS, make those changes? I, there are actually changes that you and I have had informal discussions about. So Right, but these are like... Changing the boundary, and that, yeah. that's what I left up to you guys. So, yeah. yeah, you made those. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, if I get those, then I can fix them. I will. Simple. <laughs> My vote sticker. Before you leave, I will give you a copy of our maps that we of the changes, changes that okay. we did. Okay. Yeah. Because it was in our last two sets of minutes. Okay. Great. So the that's what I mean. The. Uh, you're making your editorial changes, or your your oil staff. <coughs> I've I've made I've changed. I've made my editorial comments on the May 12, 2017 draft. Right. And basically, you didn't change the content of it. We don't have to vote on that. Um, we just have to decide if that's going to be the the draft. We, I do need to put acknowledgments in there. I thought Julie had sent you some acknowledgments um, at some point here because I wanted to add to them. We actually promised the state that we would thank them for the grant they gave us in 2015. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I want to thank, you know, planning commission members. Julie had written up sure. the basic thing. We'll put that in the intro section before we, okay. or somewhere, just an acknowledgement section. And that'll be the only change other than that. I've, I've had a chance to read the one that Michael sent us. I haven't had a chance to read the one that Sid, but Sid's, um, and I forget her name, forgive me. Megan. That word, Megan, you know, uh, made it a lot easier to read, combine words. It was too wordy in areas, and she, fortunately for us, is, uh, has the professional ability to Great. do that stuff. That's what's new. So yeah. I didn't see, uh, has everybody read it in one piece? Mm -hmm. Is it right there? Took a look at it. Any comments? I've read through most of it, and not all of it, uh, from what Sid, Sid just sent, and I have some minor edits, yeah. and I don't know if this is appropriate now or not. Edits, uh, well, tell us what they are. This is exactly what we want to do tonight. Okay, well, I, and I have the section and the paragraph and and like that, if you want to do that here or not, I, you know. Let's do it. If it's, um, okay. you know, we're not changing the content no, of the section. No, no, you're, no, no, no. You're no. going to make this easier to read for everybody. I okay. think so. Yeah. Because uh, there was some things I didn't understand, and whether it was English or its intent, but um, so uh, well, some of this is only is written so only planners and lawyers can understand it for a good true. reason well, because well, we need to be able to continue our employment. <laughs> that's right. No, I, I hear that. Security. <laughs> uh, for instance, in and in engineers. To some introduction uh, one point zero paragraph three. What page um, are you? In page. Two page oh, numbers because we have. Uh, page one of ninety four. Yeah. yeah. Intro oh, section of ninety four. Third yeah. paragraph, which starts with economic yeah. changes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, correct. Um, paragraph you were reading three, Sid, which I don't have. Did you bring your? I just have one. I never had one. seen industries leave the area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when we go to economic changes, that um, the obstacles by Pound residents are similar to the Northeast and the rest of the community. Northeast should be capitalized. Other, oh, otherwise, oh, you're talking okay. about the well, northeast part of town. Well, wait. What I would have you do if, if it's so these just are, these are minor things, but you know, could you send them to Sid and he'll pass them along? Sure, sure. If you send it to me in Word, I'll yeah. incorporate it in you. I'll send yeah. it to you. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. I thought you wanted clarification on no, uh, no, a sentence or no, two. no, no. It is a run-on sentence well, and just a, here, here thing. 
I don't remember seeing it. But it may be. It may it may my, be. my email address is wrong on that sheet it's, that Julie handed out. So that's okay, okay. Well, that's. I remember one, discussing this every Cutler time. Bunny, yeah. 150 yeah. yesterday we got it. So but um, it, I see think see there is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, not, on the sheet. that's not on the sheet that Julie handed out. So it's kind of like, why is it good for Northeast U.S. and then back to Vermont? This one. Northeast part of the town? Yeah, see, that's If it's not capitalized, and the intention was the North. All I did was give this to my assistant and say, put these addresses. Yep. And you could say group address. address. Yeah. You're very similar to Eastern New York. Okay, for those of you who didn't get it, it's been sent. We'll send it again. It will send it again after. Why don't we wait until Rick gets okay. this handful of. What I have thus far is you know, up, up through uh, section four. One, gonna okay. Take yours. Bonnie, C U T L E R, Bonnie at yahoo.com. Yeah. Once I get Rick's comments, and once I get your vision into it, which I didn't do, I will send it out to everybody again. No. That's nice. And I'll send, great, send it to me because I'll just wait and print it when you get the changes done. There's no sense in printing it twice. Well, I was going to say, after I make the changes, I'll send it. Yeah, yeah. Like there, is no yeah. there is no sound. There is no sound. Let me ask Henry. I was wondering operation. Yeah. 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 It's a big, big operation. I didn't know when. Just check that. Henry. Okay. Henry there used to be a bit. Right, but he doesn't. I, I don't know if that's important or not, but there is no sound. Ronnie. Oh. Will you ask Ronnie? I think that's looking at me. I didn't write that. Ronnie. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. My secretary wants a word with you. Ronnie and Henry. Will you get Henry's attention for me, too? Henry. Yep. Because Sid's emailing the edits, yeah. do you still want to email to you or do you want to hard copy? Yeah, she, um, because well, I know she, you don't do a I don't lot of I don't think I, I don't think, I think I'll be all right. Okay. Okay. Ronnie? Ronnie, should we email it to you or do you want to look at a hard copy of it? Uh, I probably won't look at either one. I well, think I got a lot of opinions that nobody I, I agree with. Uh, I, I, I agree with. So it doesn't matter. I, I mean, he's just going right. to make these so. changes. Am I well, correct? Well, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think agrees with us. Okay. Well, I, 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 I think, I think they'll be fine when yeah. I get here because I'm trying to It's not a major one. You follow what I'm saying? I don't see where it's an issue. Okay. It's just a wording. That's right. I gave him the first half. There's no need in me. Okay. So, Michael, we've talked about the maps. Julie will get you the changes that have been. No, wait. No, wait one second. He just right. gave us new maps. Have you looked at any of the maps? I did. He's right here. I've never seen well, that's what I'm sent saying. them about two weeks ago. Well, and a link to the site for it. Free. Yeah, they were judging But Has everybody out? Because. Oh, I don't know. We've had them for two weeks, right? That doesn't mean we all look at it within oh, two weeks. Okay. You've been on vacation. You've had time. I looked at them during my vacation. Some of us. I'm so devoted hey, to the could be. commission. <laughs> While fishing. <laughs> While that's fishing right. on a boat. Yeah, but um, comments or changes a lot of us work, you know. Yeah. I, hey, listen. I mean, you know, I'm not doing this by myself. We can we can look at this and. Well, that's why I'm asking. But sure. you're going too fast. And well, I, I, I had a question because I wanted to. <clears throat> Which one? No, you're doing these maps, but the other maps that we, the bigger maps, are you gonna? Are they gonna be incorporated with these maps, or are you putting them in a different section? Because I'm assuming all these maps are going to go The actual zoning, the those overlays. Are going to right. Well, so are the other ones, Buck. The other ones? The ones that you've got to make changes to, though. The ones that we the voted on changes. Ones. Right, but I think one of those maps shows the land land designate, the land use areas. And that's the one I was asking you right. guys to look at. The Town of Pownal Pound Villages. No, that's nope. Right. Going. Bedrock. No. Slope no. and evaluation. No. So I am. Um, Land cover. I recognize that last one. What is this? Stand. What is, I don't even know what that word even says. Terrestrial. That means ET to me. So I had to was the first thing that came to my mind. Extra terrestrial. Above the land. I don't know. That's what I'm so. saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. What? What are them maps? Why do we need land and water? Land systems. and water. Okay. It's required. And and land and water in big words. Okay, well, I'm just so we have the flood zone. All right. Unique flood natural zone. features. We do have to talk about the land conservation use, overlays. Land use designations. Yes. That's the one you're interested in. Okay. 
<laughs> is that the one you guys made? Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Two, just two minor ones. So I just need to know where to keep good notes. There you go. Jesus. Mike, I have a question. Are you going to sure. let anybody else here refer to you as toots? Toots. <laughs> Whoa. You can, if you That's want to. Really <laughs> I, I'm be, at least it's being I nice, considering what I normally I call Nelson. So I don't, uh, Toots is not a bad I thing. I purposely yeah. put Sid between us now, so I don't get kicked <laughs> under the table anymore. Okay. She'll just kick me I'm later. Just chucking. Um, along the maps deal you asked in one of your recent emails, and I was hoping everybody would forget this. This is going to come out all wrong. But the environmental overlay sections you said remember that discussion so there's some other overlay that i'm not seeing here right environmental protection stuff well let me let me derail your thought and, and answer something julie said why do you need all those maps and julie when in the original plan you had a lot of discussion about many of those things that are in there mm -hmm. and i changed the discussion to update it with new information right. but basically kept it the same so when i when you for instance talked about in the original plan talked about soils i said okay we need a map of soils if you're going to talk about soils let's show it. so that's why this stuff is in there mostly because well, as i read through it it would say we have lots of forests and there's, there's lots reference. of wetlands we have lots of we have certain kinds of soils I said, okay how am i going to show that so right. people understand where that is and so that's it's really just to to illustrate that the, it's the not to make up anything new it's really just oh, to illustrate things that you didn't have maps for before basically <coughs> now the conservation overlay is in your zoning ordinance i don't think it was in the plan i don't think so to be honest i really didn't understand how you want what you wanted to do with that because it was a rather it basically said that if you're in a certain area you need to do a study and that's what this it was three quarters of tunnel called. if i recall it yeah, was like everywhere part. so i we when we looked at that it was like do you do, you do that do you make do you do that do people have to do that and do you really want to continue that is that helping you at all if it is let's keep it but if it's not if it's like either a burden or it was the second or third time in my career that i even gave it thought yeah. but the, but the real issue being is that the map it was based on goes back to stuff that's 20 years old while well, the world has changed we know we have more information now and so um, I, listen, I'm open to suggestions we, on the environmental environmental overlay. Is that what that was called? So, and that may be a bylaw issue, but we all had we all had discussion. Of okay, now we're on to something here. We have to move on to the bylaw later, so we have to look at the maps in our bylaw books. So that would be the time because that's where that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the time to look at that. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the town plan, does it? Well, I think I think. What I would suggest that you might want to have in the town plan, and that's why you need to look through this, is does this give you the direction of what you want to do with the bylaws? It doesn't have to say we're going to make the bylaws, Correct. we're going to change page 14 of the bylaws to this. Yeah. But if you're concerned about, you have a big concern about wetlands. Wetlands come out very clearly in your plan, they come up very clearly in your yep. bylaws, good consistency. If you're concerned about north facing slopes, I'm just making this up. Sure. And you don't, ha and 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 that's not in there. And there's nothing in the plan about it. Then we should. Put then something you can't in. legislate about it. Well, it also gives you like, an, and it also gives you direction to say, okay, what are we supposed to do in sure, 2018? Sure. Oh, we said we worry about north facing slopes, so let's get on that, right? That's a priority yeah. action we need to do something about. So that's all I'm getting at is if you're, this kind of sets your work plan for the next five years. Yeah, off and running. Pull it open and what, we, what should we be doing? We should be, you know, we should be, you had, there, one of the discussions is having a recreation plan. And I think there's an action there about having a recreation plan. Okay, that should be on your, your, your list of things to do in whatever year you want to do it. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting at. So it's your, sure. it's not only the guiding for the plan, <coughs> it's your marching orders. But yeah, your marching and orders. And it lets the whole town know what we're going to be up to, especially if they approved it. Well, yeah. Air yeah. Maps are exactly. To match. Sorry. These air maps are supposed to match. Um, along those lines, it says in here we're going to have tonight a discussion in the energy section right. as well. And I think that was interaction between you and Sid after our last regular meeting. No, we'll see. Not about a, um, I don't forget the name of, name of it, but there's basically there's someone, different. They set out if someone builds something districts. now, they have to meet certain standards and they have to provide a certificate. This is your section that you looked at. 
But go ahead. Uh, I, mean, I was trying to help Julie with the question she had. Excuse yeah. me. They have I'm to sorry. basically provide like a certificate of compliance with certain energy standards. Yes. Oh. And it's not a it's not a local regulation. That's the something state. That the state requires. State. So it just seemed like you should encourage that. You know, and so, so people know know that you know like. I'm sure this guy knows, but let's say he didn't know and he came before you might say, oh, and by the way, don't forget you need to do that. Do, do we reference that in our section, mm -hmm. energy yeah. section? Good. I, I think we changed it from shell to should because was, there was concern that that was yeah. a requirement. Mm -hmm. Right. There was basically, and, and the town may want to have a copy so that you <coughs> see how things are going. Good. By changing to should, we addressed something that Bonnie was concerned about, and she said, "Why can we? How can we require people to do it if we don't have a building commission? If we don't have a building right. code? If we don't have the infrastructure around it?" Who's right. going to monitor it? Who's going to police it? Right. That is the permeating question through everything. But interesting enough, it's a state mm -hmm. requirement that people self-report. So, yeah, isn't that something? Well, it's, it's kind of like um. In fact, I think your, your original plan, I think I changed it because it, it said something about that the EPA required that buildings be tested for lead. It wasn't that they required a building to be tested for lead, it was that they required that people be notified as to whether or not it was possible that there was lead in the building. So it wasn't that the EPA was saying, go, go test for lead, but if I'm a buyer, I need to know whether or not you need a disclosure. Exactly, it's a exactly. disclosure. So it's 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 again a kind of a requirement that's not a. So everybody's on their honor. It was exactly. the state. Yeah. Is that unusual? I mean, uh, no, I it's think the that's state of Vermont, but I mean, is that? I think. <laughs> Uh, Nick, you I mean, if you buy a house from someone and, and they say there's nothing, wrong with, the nothing wrong with the roof, and you find something wrong with the roof, and you can come back and say, hey, make right. I just, but the, yeah, but I there's no inspection on it. Like, so, you know, well, in New York, there's an inspection, and it's a right, regular right, thing. Right, but you get a right, CO, and then, yes. you know, you get inspected. The requirement is on residential, just that the seller is closed to the buyer if they have yeah. knowledge of the paint but and if there's been any today. testing no, done. Right. Other things yeah. today. And that's, that has to go with the initial transaction when the property is being So the seller has to disclose that. The seller discloses whether they know if there's knowledge or if there's ever been any testing done. What the buyer chooses to do with that at that point is there. They can choose to deal. have a test done yeah. or they can choose to say. At their I'm expense, they could have a test done. It's I'm not fine the, with the way it is and I'm, yeah. I'm accepting it, however. So. So, so, right. so is this kind of similar with respect to energy conservation? It's kind of a That's what happened to the one over there. All right, Julie has a observation no, about like the maps. That, uh, the gentleman that bought uh, mm -hmm. where we were supposed to do the dairy bar. Oh, yeah. That's what happened yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. He didn't know any of that stuff. You want to change the order as to? Yes, if it's possible. Only two. Well, give give us give us the new order of maps. Well, I'm just thinking. We're sending it. And put it in can the. I, can I do that? Or just renumber them and give them to me. Yeah, there you okay. go. Because hmm? I don't think it really matters to us, the order of the maps. It does to me. You're thinking of how crazy. it flows in the town plan, right? Yes, okay. because we have to look at this book all the time. Yeah. Every day. And if it makes it easy. Well, just remember, I might have to move the text around if we say map three. Exactly, because yeah. the, the, there's reference in the text to the maps by title. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I will send them in. They're not minor, it's just to put all the the Pono ones closer. Well, they're all Pono, but they I'll cut, send we it think to they you. make sense in the well, order in which Mr. Couple Bachelor couple Clarksburg's in there. A couple of them maps of a small town in California. Yeah, that's right, there. just for as an example. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Try Is that better more. data for that? <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Like, it's like looking for a lost <laughs> item in the room that has the light on exactly. instead of exactly. the dark it's room. It's easier to make a map for that and just make it square. Yeah. So listen, um, I have issues. Mm -hmm. I was trying to explain to Doug the your email. Uh, you mind if I take a second to review that with the crowd here, with the commission? Your email about the logistics of what we need to do now. I mean, no, unless no. you want to, you have something to wrap up here. No, I mean, is there anything else to do with the energy or what is on the agenda? I forget. Uh, just discussion of the draft, maps. And review the energy section. 
but with regard to what we just talked about. I don't I didn't see any end. Yeah, and we just talked about it. Oh. That um, the two of you had can talk about. Well, I guess that all just that little comment about I should think so. instead of shall. Well, I, I guess I, I would so. suggest that if, if some people are still looking at it, that you may want to put a time frame on, like get your comments to Sid. <laughs> yeah, right. I just did. Yeah. And then go with it. I mean, uh, as soon as. Um, and then, and then, you know, in other words, if if Ron comes up with, oh, you need to change this on page fourteen, and Jim wants to change another way, then you have to talk about it. But if right. It's just like change this, change this, then you don't need to talk about it, and you can just incorporate yeah. it. We're changing content. We have to vote on it if we yeah, don't. Right. Right. Is that? That, that, would, that would make sense. Right. Yeah. It, it's the, it makes sense because it's correct too. Um, so, but you may want to so when we get that, that um, we have to come together and just say, okay, that's it. Now we can go to the public with it. Now we can send it out to the neighboring towns and everything else. Okay. So this is what Michael sent to us today. I sent to uh, Julie and I today. I don't know if the rest of you got it, but at least 30 days prior to a public hearing, the following action must take place. Uh, you have to deliver with proof of receipt or send by certified mail return receipt requested copies of the certified. proposed plan to the following uh, and document and records that this was done. Which I think we just got somebody's, didn't we? Didn't Catherine just sent us one that we had to sign off on? Somewhere. One of the towns. You have to right. send certified copy. Um, I'm right. I'm, I'm sending, so all the I sent all this to you because I should tell you one of my first experiences was in PCRC was yeah. I met with a, I was working in the town of Arlington. Oh, yeah. And I said to the town planning commission, your plan is expired. You have to readopt it. They said, Okay, you we readopt it. Yeah, Remember could have it done. Yeah. They didn't do anything. I had no idea. I guess that's all you do. Well, they didn't do any of this stuff, which we then had to redo. You can't just go, hey, it's a readopted. You know, you have to have a hearing. Uh, by, <laughs> by proclamation. Exactly. We hear but anyway, by so proclaim. I wanted to make it clear that this takes time. So all the 30 days before any public hearing, all the chair people of a buddy municipal planning commissions need to get these. If no PC, then a municipal clerk, executive director of the regional planning commission. The Department of Housing and Community Development needs a copy. The community organized organizations or interest groups that have requested the notice and ready. Fifteen days prior to the public hearing, the following actions must take place. Uh, publish a copy of date, place, and purpose of hearing along with summary of text in newspaper of general publication and municipality affected. Publish copy of, so that's the entire document summary of, summary, text? Of, a summary of the text summary. no we so have our to intro kind of remember we have to be careful when we do that because yeah. remember the last time ten thousand dollars later or something? yes yeah. so we didn't need yeah, the banner, to do it all the banner hit us kind of hard and fast and um but we will be careful so it doesn't say the entire thing julie so we'll get to the bottom of that um, no, I a summary of text must include the following, a statement of purpose. So this breaks it down. The geographic area is affected. So is our table, state statute ta checklist. Table of contents or a list of section headings. Your libel book tells yep. that. Yep. A description of uh, a place within the municipality where they can come and look at the entire thing. So it'll, it'll be out there on your desk, right? No, it'll be posted on the wall. Or yep. they can <laughs> we have here. the chairman leading the meeting, and we have the Greek chorus. And B, uh, post, well, yes, I know. Hang on, his, hang on. It's right. in his yeah. Bible. But, B, sorry, post. Might, might just interrupt you, but I would suggest maybe you put a copy in the library. Because people may. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's because Good I idea. Weekends or evenings. Good idea. Or at Winchester's. Um, B, post a copy of the date, place, and purpose of the hearing, along with the summary of the text in one or more public places within the municipality. Hold your commission hearing. Prepare revisions, if any, to the plan. Then you got to send it up to the select board. The legislative body must hold the first of one or two, one of or more public hearings, not less than 30, excuse me, <laughs> nor more than 120, oh, uh, there are no more than 120 days after receipt of proposed plan. So you have 30 days, no more than 30 days to 120 days to get your public uh, uh, hearings in place. Uh, municipalities with a population of more than 2,500 must hold, hold at least two hearings. I think we qualify, don't we? We do. We're more than 2,500, so we each have to have two hearings. They can be one or night 25, after 65. They can be on a Monday night and a Tuesday night or whatever. It doesn't matter. 
Um, 15 days prior to the public hearing, the following actions must be taken for the select board. Adopt the select board's resolution, approving plan or amendment. So, so there's time. The reason that I'm giving you these dates is that Sid gets us this thing. We need a, a, a quick meeting to say, okay, we've all reviewed it. Good. <coughs> Let's go. We've got enough here to go to the public with it. Then we start this process of sending it by registered mail to the other commissions in the area. Um, then we hold our public hearings. Then the select board holds its public hearings. So literally, I hope I didn't mislead Doug. We're two months away from this thing being wrapped. I mean, we're end of August, maybe beginning of September before this thing is done. Yeah, 30 to if we really move you on it. A month to three months. So, so do we, fine. do we, yeah, that's fine. I mean, do we need a meeting in between when Sid's uh, done with this to say, okay? I well, think I think that I think the planning commission, as a commission, has to vote on, it. on a final text. That's mm -hmm. the one we're going. Right. Yeah, because we have to add the acknowledgments to it, mm -hmm. and I think that has to be part of it, even though it's a doesn't impact by law or anything like that. It's just thanking people. Okay. So if you get that to us, then we should probably have a meeting before our next regular meeting just to do that. However, our work session is July 4th, and Bingo. I'm not coming, so Bingo. I can tell you. Where are you going to be? We can change. Not in your work, and I can tell mm -hmm. you that. <laughs> However, well, let's pick another day. Some pick a, going on yeah, there'll be fireworks. Another day. Pick another day. <laughs> now, does that mean um, Monday the 3rd, anyway. which is not a holiday? Are you, if we're just coming in to say... Monday, Monday the 3rd, Sid and Monday are in Boston. People will be away for the whole week. Yeah, yeah, away for the whole week. I'm not after the four. Yeah, but you were away for two weeks just uh, a couple I'm, of days I'm, I'm here. You guys need to be That's here. That's what I think. <laughs> What's that, Ronnie? I think I'll be at a Trump rally on the 3rd. Are you? <laughs> you cut your hat, ready to go? You know, I got you going. Well, um, we need to... Um, and this assumes that the basic work is done. You're going to continue to go through it and make a couple changes, okay, as yeah. is everybody else. Get any editorial changes to Sid. Uh, Sid's going to get us the plan. Everybody's going to review it. We're going to come together and say yay or nay on the plan, and then we're going to start this process of sending it. It can only be it can only be July fifth or sixth. Yeah, I was going to say it has to be after. Well, the that's board. fine. What's our What's our regular meeting? What's the third Tuesday date in July? Third Tuesday would be the 18th is our regular meeting. Okay, so the fifth or sixth, that, that, that's fine with me. I should tell you that I'm taking some time off, so I'm not going to get your maps all together. So, yeah. hope you don't make have too many changes to them. No, we don't. Okay, Nine. two. Okay, good. The two two sections of the state will tell you what they are. Okay, tonight. So are we going to meet on the no, fifth or sixth? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting there. The sixth oh. is a Thursday, and the selectmen meet. All right, so, so we can't do so it we're first. So we're going to do the 5th. And right. I work on when, Wednesday the 5th is fine with me, if we could. As long as you don't mind, because we just canceled DRB on the 5th. So if you want to do the 5th, we can do the 5th. It God shouldn't be it. here long. We should be able to get in. Well, in and out. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody should have had time to review it and say exactly. yes or no. Exactly. I mean, make a list of any concerns or objections <coughs> that you might have so we can have a quick discussion on it. Okay, 7-5, seven, 7 o'clock. 7-5, seven, 7 o'clock. So a special meeting July 5th. Because I'm gone the following week, too. You can't go away near the end of the plan. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to New Hampshire for a week for town clerk training. All right. So I'm going. Yes, you're going. They're going to train you in New Hampshire. I'm oh, going. you don't you don't want to. She's moving. In New I'm New going to New Hampshire. You for want a the week. Vermont version? <laughs> Live free and die. She wants. That's right. <laughs> Just a couple of things. Yeah. In <laughs> so it's a special meeting. No and, and it's only to approve. Changes. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the agenda is um, approval of... Uh, town plan. Draft. Approval draft. Um, town plan. So we got to pop those acknowledgments in there, in whatever section acknowledgments, probably in their own, should go uh, right after the intro, whenever we want it. We'll just look yep. at the old town plan and put it in there. We'll give you the copies of the maps. I think um, we're going to take the environmental overlay as a, uh, a zoning map issue. Good. Okay. Wait, I gotta find the first page. Any, anything else? 
Before we adjourn, we do have a motion to say good night. Do I have a second? Yes. Uh, any further discussion? Did you understand? Not your all those in favor of Aye. adjournment? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any opposed to adjourning? No. Okay. All right. Thank Ronnie, you all. Did you sign your paper?